Hello again, tutorial 8, part 2, we are talking about sequencers, and now you can cyclic a multi-manager. Well, now let's make the multi-manager itself. I made a third room for that. With, we are, are just going to start off by making the trigger once in this spot. And the trigger once will trigger the multi manager, which I'm going to add in the middle of everything. It doesn't really matter because it isn't solid. Multi manager. The first thing we activate is a funk breakable. I'm going to add something, stupid texture of something that. Is going to break. I'm going to make a cube here that at the third second it's going to break. At second six, a light will go from off to on. And at second nine, a funk door goes off. I'm going to use this for a funk door. Okay, we're all set. Let's start up by naming the multi manager. Multi. Badly spelled. <laughs> okay, now let's set this to trigger once. Once. Which is going to trigger multi. Now, this is the first thing we're going to change. I'm going to change it to Funk Breakable, which is going to be Target 1. Name Target 1. I am not going to change anything else. I'm going to leave it glass because it doesn't really matter about this tutorial. The second thing we are going to change is the light. The name is going to be Target 2. Initially dark, I'm going to change it for pink. My my armor is a bit buggy sometimes, sometimes it doesn't change the color, but it changes everything else except the color. I re don't really don't know why. For example, sometimes it doesn't doesn't change the angle. I bet if I go down here again and see the door. Yeah, it didn't change my angle. It's a bug I have. I don't know if you guys have it. See, now it's set. Anyhow, back here. Now, this is going to, f to be our funk door. Just exactly the same way we made the other one. I'm going to name it target tree. Angle up. It doesn't matter. I'm going to just do Change the speed for 50 and stay open. Okay. Yes. It saved the angle. Okay. So this is going to target multi manager at second zero. Let's turn off smart edit and add a key. So multi name of the entity is going to be targeted at second zero. Okay, so second zero multi. Target one is going to be targeted at second three. Second three, target one. And so on. I think you already understand what my point was in this. This is how a multi manager works. Notice you can add up to 15 triggers in this list, up to 15, but you can also target a multi-manager from a multi-manager, so you got almost endless possibilities. So this is going to target this, and this is second 0, at second 3, this, at second 6, this, at second 9, this. And uh, if I made everything right, which I think so, Everything is going to work as spy. Work as spy. Never mind. 
Okay, dot eight. Save. Let's compile this another thing. Okay, and let's test it. Command line dot eight. Sorry, yep. Dot eight dot PSP. Okay, so room one single triggers a beam starting at F beam and ending at info target. Working well. Secondly, a trigger once will activate that door. What? It works. Multi triggers. This button will activate that light and reset after 5 seconds. So I'm going to click it. 1. Two, three, four, five. Now I can click it again. Notice the trigger only works after the button has moved totally. If I try to press it while it's moving, it doesn't work. While it's off, uh, while the button is in is in use, you can't trigger it as well. Cyclic or multi trigger is working as by. Next, a sequencer. Trigger once will activate multi menu share that it's hidden somewhere around here. One, two, three. Simple spy. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's all about triggers. Yet I wanted to make you understand why triggers are so important. Triggers is what changes your gameplay by itself. This is in the same map you can make every type of gameplay because the missions uh, missions will change from aspect to aspect. For example, it's totally different in a corridor you have a door in the middle of a corridor, it's completely different. You go to the door directly, the door opens from having a button here and open the door over there. It changes the gameplay by itself, so I consider triggers the most interesting, fun and creative part of mapping. I hope you enjoy listening to this tutorial as much as I like to do it. Thanks to everyone, see you next time!